It's time to review Harley Quinn! Hey guys, me host from Zorro, thank you very much for tuning in. Look what I got! It's Harley Quinn. This is the DC multiverse version of the Suicide Squad Harley Quinn from this year's latest Suicide Squad installment movie. I am very excited for this figure. I've waited so long for it. We never got the official DC Multiverse Birds of Prey figure from Harley, but they are releasing it later on this year. I believe it's estimated for around December time here in the UK. So I have pre-ordered one because I, I just collect all Harleys that I can get my hands on. But I'm so happy to have this version of the Harley, the Suicide Squad version with the red dress. Not seen the film yet, still need to see it. <coughs> and I'm just, I'm very excited to watch it. But it comes with the Builder Shark figure piece. But I think, I think... I'm going to be selling these little legs on to another collector that needs them because I've got a feeling that I'm going to get the actual... They're the releasing a proper boxed version of him later on. I think I'm going to get that one. Uh, but yes, this is such a cool figure. Other figures in the line, obviously, are Peacemaker, uh, Bloodsport, and the Polka Dot Man. I would love a Peacemaker because I'm a big fan of John Cena, so I would really like that. And obviously, Idris Elba as well as Bloodsport. I can't wait to see that. Um... The figure itself is actually very nice. I'm loving that face sculpt on Harley. It's very decent in hand. On the on the, all the pictures and stuff, I wasn't too fussed about that face sculpt, but seeing it in hand, it's very nice. So let's go ahead and break her out of her plastic prison. <clears throat> oh, there's one more. One more at the back there. Snip. So my friend Richard has been dying for me to open this. <clears throat> he's a massive fan of the Suicide Squad movie, he's already seen it, and he keeps telling me to go watch it. I really need to bet time to go see it. Oh my god, why won't that open? Why wouldn't that pull away? They've attached it to the back! That's the first time they've done that. Why? That's one way of stopping people nicking the bath parts, I suppose. But how am I meant to get to them to cut them? Like that, right. <laughs> they basically use like a ridiculous amount of rope tires to keep that in place. <clears throat> Alright, so we do have the new awesome looking Harley. We'll just be very careful snipping that there. Thank you. And that should be it, she's free. And we've got the little spear. Um, so we do have the the stand as well. Is it going to be the basic DC one? Yes, it's the basic DC one. They haven't given us a Suicide Squad variant. And let's have a look at the card. Yeah, I do like the cards. I usually give the cards to my friend Mick. I'm not sure if he's collecting these ones, whether he's going to need that card. So I'll keep it to one side for him. Mick, let us know, buddy, if you're watching this video, let us know if you need the Harley Quinn card for your collection. Happy to send it on to you, buddy. I don't collect the cards you see, they don't do anything for me. It's the figures I want. That box will not go back together. Yeet! Right, so let's take a look at the little card itself. So there is the Harley Quinn card, looking very nice. And obviously that's a data file. If you want to pause it and read it for yourself, go ahead, but I will read it out loud. So, Harley Quinn the Suicide Squad data file. Source, the Suicide Squad films from 2021. Harley Quinn reincarcerated for road rage. <laughs> for, ro for road rage in a bank. What? Harley Quinn reincarcerated for road rage in a bank. Buys her freedom once more by joining the, su the squad. This colourful, cheeky, cheerful psychotic still has all her deadly dynamic moves. And a single and ready to mingle rogue is easier than... Is easy is eager as ever. I can't read. Cheerful psychotic still has her deadly dynamic moves, and the single and ready to mingle rogue is as eager as ever to show them off. Much to Amanda Waller's dismay, but Harley, in her signature ladylike style, isn't afraid to manhandle anyone who comes her way. <laughs> and she does come with the spear. I'm not sure what the significance of the spear is. But my friend Richard said it has something to do with the plot and the film, and yeah, apparently it explains all that, so... She is carrying a big-ass golden spear. 
no idea. And please, people, I know if you know, if you if you know, please keep spoilers to a minimum in the comments. I don't want spoilers. Please, please don't come. No, don't, don't ruin the movie. The don't ruin the movie for me. Harley Quinn demands your silence. <laughs> so anyone that you've seen giving any spoilers in the comments, I will ban. <laughs> Be deadly serious. But yes, this is the new Harley Quinn. I'm loving that face sculpt on it. You know, that face sculpt is nice. Very decent looking. Again, you probably see a better desk cam. Uh, on on her back, she does have a new tattoo, the property of Joker tattoo on her shoulder there. And she does have Daddy's little monster here on on her shoulder. She has a bunch of new uh, like tats on her leg, including the pudding cups tattoo, and then like a like it's got like a she's got like a Joker, like a jester, and then a load like a five bar gate on her leg. That's very cool. Uh, on the top of her arm, she's got a Mister J tattoo. And then further down the arm, she's got like the Harley Quinn, like you know, like all your cards and things like that, that kind of a design. Very cool. Again, I'm loving that face sculpt, and the head does look like it's going to pop off pretty easily. Yes, it will. So a lot of people are saying to use this head on other figures. So yes, we've got a very decent Harley Quinn sculpt there. Hopefully, I can get that back in. No, yes, can. But yeah, that head pops off very easily, actually. So a lot of people are recommending to use that head on the traditional Harley Quinn body and things like that to make some different Margot Robbie Harleys. Very cool concept and idea. Articulation, heads on a ball joint, so you can make a look up, down, left and right. Her arm does lift up at this side hinge, does also rotate. There's also a bit of a butterfly hinge going on there, which is nice. Double hinged elbows, and the hands are on full ball joints. There is mm, a little waist swivel there. I don't want to move that too much, but yes, there is a little waist swivel there. Legs do lift out. Uh, do we have a top thigh cut here? I don't think we do. No, there's no top thigh cut, but we do have double hinged knees. And have we got a boot cut? No boot cut, but a feet are a rocker and pivot. And obviously it's a McFarlane's, so you get the toe articulation. <laughs> Admittedly, I always laugh at the toe articulation, but I always end up using it when I'm posing the figures because it does help. When you're trying to steady them, If you could just you, the fact that you can make the boot go flat does really help with posing sometimes. Especially this one, because this Harley Quinn's quite... She's struggling to stand in these weird boots that they've given her. I think I need to warm the joints up and things and move these around a little bit more. But luckily she does come with a display base, so I, if I'm having trouble for the video, I can just pop the little display base on for now. Until I get a chance to pose her properly. <laughs> so there we go. Awesome. And of course we do have that golden spear. Again, not sure the significance, but I'm sure we'll find out in the movie. And of course we come with the first part of the bath fig for King Shark. He's going to be very big by the look of this, because that is one chunky piece. He's got his little shorts on there. Um, toe articulation. Movement in the ankles. Rocker and pivot there. So yeah, very cool. And it's got the nice big ball peg there to attach it to the next piece. Like I say, I'm not sure if I'm going to be collecting this one because I don't think I'm getting any of the other figures. So I think I'm going to just hold off now because I'm going to get the unmasked John Cena, I think, rather than the masked one. Um, I think I'm going to get that and I'm probably going to buy the boxed King Shark, to be honest. So this probably might be up for grabs later on. But guys, let's head on down to the desk cam to give you guys an up-close personal look at this awesome Harley Quinn. So let's head on down to the desk cam. Here she is, guys, out of the packaging. It's Harley Quinn. Everyone's favourite version of Harley as well. Like, come on, let's be honest. Margot Robbie has crushed it as Harley Quinn. And uh, when you think of Harley now, she's generically the one I think of now. Uh, it used to be the Tara, uh, Tara Sonnenschuld from the Arkham games and the TV series. I used to think of her as the definitive Quinn. But slowly Margot Robbie is taking over. And I'm not even mad at the cartoon version that Penny from Big Bang Theory does, Kayla Coco. I'm not even mad at her version for the cartoon. But I think Margot Robbie does capture the madness that is Quinn very, very well in the films. And I can't wait to see this one and see this outing with Harley. I do love me some Harleys, as you guys know. I'm a big Harley Quinn collector. If you'd like to see my entire Harley collection, please let us know in the comments. And I can make a video just dedicated to all the Harley Quinn action figures that I own, because I have a lot. But yeah, I'm, the spear's a little bit of a pain. Um, it does pose alright, but I probably won't be using it for my posing. I may change my mind once I've seen the film. 
and I have a clue what the hell it's about. But for now, I think I'm just going to leave it without. Um, I'm tempted to get her gun from one of the other figures and have like the big Joker style pistol up in the air, potentially. Could even dig out one of the mallets or her uh, baseball bats as well. That could be fun to pose her with. Um, I do like this figure with all the, you know, the tats and things on show. I think that's very cool. And there was a lot of controversy over that tattoo on her back from what I've seen on the internet about, you know, the property of Joker. <clears throat> there was a lot of uh, talk about that tattoo on the internet. Um, they have removed the rotten tattoo off her face, though, for once. I know that was uh, at the request of James Gunn and Harley and uh, Maga Robbie, I believe. I, think, I don't think, I think, I think Maga Robbie hated having that one on her as well. <clears throat> See, I'm glad they've toned down the original Suicide Squad covered in tats look when they've gone for like a nice balance now, it feels like. So, yeah, I'm very happy with this figure. Like I say, I think it's very nice. The paint apps on it are beautiful. The moulding's beautiful. I've not found any warped plastic here. McFarlane's always do knock it out of the park with these. So, yeah, what more can I say except it's a great figure and I definitely recommend it. But guys, what are your thoughts on this new Harley Quinn figure? Let us know in the comments down below. I'd love to hear your guys' thoughts. But yeah, perfect figure. Highly recommend it. But guys, let's head on back to the main cam and finish off this video. So guys, what are your thoughts on this awesome Harley Quinn? Let us know in the comments down below. If you enjoyed today's video, then please really hit that like and subscribe button. Subscribing really supports us. It really helps us out and helps us to keep making awesome videos. Thank you very much for watching, guys, and until next time, may the force be with you.